Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of SD Locks SCP Readings. This, obviously, is Shaggy Dreadlocks. Today we are going to be reading SCP-3790, The Department of Abnormalities. Item number SCP-3790 Level 5 Top Secret Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures The door into the stairwell leading to SCP-3790 is to be padlocked at all times, and a single guard is to be posted nearby to ensure no individuals Enter SCP-3790. By order of the Overseer Council, entry into SCP-3790 is forbidden. Description SCP-3790 is a structure located beneath the abandoned Port Superior Canning Company warehouse in London, UK. The only access to this space is down a narrow stairwell that ends in a short black door. The door is free of identifying markings, save for a small metal placard just above the door handle. It reads, SCP Foundation, Department of Abnormalities. The remainder of this file has been locked by O5 order. Access granted. The interior of SCP-3790 consists of several descending levels, each consisting of a hallway containing four doors, two per side, and a graded freight elevator at the far end of the corridor, leading to the lower levels. While there is evidence of prior human activity within SCP-3790, the structure appears to have been abandoned for a considerable amount of time. Each of the doors is a solid, heavy metal door with a sliding panel covering a small glass viewport into the dimly lit chamber beyond. The doors, some of which are rusted but otherwise undamaged, have at some point in the past had their handles and unlocking mechanisms removed, and have been welded shut. The only distinguishing marks on these doors are small metal placards located just beneath the sliding panel. These placards usually bear what is believed to be the designation for the contents of the chamber, though in some places the placards have been removed or are damaged. The elevator has access to seven levels of the structure. No record of the SCP Foundation ever having a Department of Abnormalities exists. No information regarding the structure has been located. Addendum 3790.1 Chamber Contents The following is a list of the rooms on each floor, the text on each door's placard, and a visual description of the contents of each chamber, if possible. Level 1 Room 1 Placard Name Vivaldi Description Chamber is empty aside from a violin propped in the far corner of the room. The bow is broken on the ground in front of it. Room 2. Placard. Name. Montezuma's face. Description. An ornate wooden chest with gold inlays and a large steel lock sits on a table in the middle of the chamber. A quiet clicking sound, like that of a clock, is barely audible from within the chamber. Room 3. Placard. Name. No placard. Description. Chamber is empty. Room 4. Placard. Name. Placard has been damaged, and text is unreadable. Description. Chamber is empty. Long gashes cover the walls. Pieces of bone are visible across the chamber floor. Level 2. Room 1. Placard. Name. Ian. Description. A thin, pale man in a straitjacket wearing a blindfold sits in the corner of the chamber. Room 2. Placard. Name. The Crying Boy. Description. A canvas is set up in the room. 
A sheet is draped over it. Room 3. Placard. Name. The Watchers. Description. Three vaguely humanoid figures are huddled in a far corner of the room, looking away from the door. The figures can be seen shifting slightly, but due to lighting conditions within the chamber, no other details can be made out. Room 4. Placard. Name. No placard. Description. Beyond the door appears to be another hallway. Level 3. Room 1. Placard. Name. The Infinite Cold. Description. The floor of the chamber is covered in a thin layer of water. The interior of the room seems to be considerably larger than its exterior physical dimensions would allow. Room 2. Placard. Name. Sorrow. Description. A pedestal rests in the middle of the chamber. Four parallel lines in the dust, consistent with finger marks, imply that whatever was upon it has recently been removed. Room 3. Placard. Name. World without man. Description. Chamber is empty. Room 4. Placard. Name. Adam's Hatred. Description. A billowing, indistinct black shape is visible in the back of the room. Level 4. Room 1. Placard. Name. The Morning Star. Description. A rusted sword hangs in the rack in the back of the room. The door to the chamber feels warm. Room 2. Placard. Name. Wormwood. Description. Viewport is obscured. Room 3. Placard. Name. Harmonia's Necklace. Description. A simple golden necklace hangs on a post in the back of the room, which is lit by a single tall candle. The chamber does not appear to have a floor. Room 4. Placard. Name. No placard. Description. Chamber is unlit. Individuals who look into this room feel a lingering sense of dread afterward. Level 5. Room 1. Placard. Name. The Heart of Man. Description. Inside the chamber is a single, still beating human heart suspended from the ceiling by a wire. The interior of the chamber appears distorted. Room 2. Placard. Name. Tool marks indicate that placard had been pried off. The word, hello, is scratched into the metal where the placard should be. Description. Sliding panel is welded shut. Room 3. Placard. Name. Channel 55. Description. A small CRT television sits in the center of the room. Something is playing on the screen, but a dark cloth has been draped over the top of it. Room 4. Placard. Name. Living Nightmare. Description. A dirty twin mattress on a simple metal frame rests in the middle of the room. A figure is laying on the mattress with a sheet pulled up over them. Level 6. Room 1. Placard. Name. Mr. Silence. Description. A tall black wooden box rests against the back wall. It is bound in chains and locks. A bright purple W is emblazoned on its front in gold trim. Room 2. Placard. Name. The Dead Man's Chair. Description. A wooden chair sits in the far corner of the room. A faint shadow can be seen sitting in it, which disappears upon a second viewing. Room 3. Placard. Name. Utsi. Description. A layer of ice covers the viewport and obscures visibility. A dark shape can be seen in the middle of the room, although no details can be distinguished. Room 4. Placard. Name. 
Apollyon's Crown. Description. A silver lockbox rests on a table in the middle of the room. Notably, the exterior of the door is covered in scratch marks, as if by something trying to get into the chamber. Level seven, 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 seven. Although the opening to the seventh level is visible through the graded floor of the elevator, the lift mechanism appears to have been modified and can no longer access that floor. And that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, click that bell for notifications, check down in the description where I'll have more works from these authors, as well as related reading materials for your perusal. Until next time.